Social media is a powerful force. It has the amazing power to bring people from all around the world together. Information shared on YouTube can be incredibly helpful, but it can also be extremely harmful. Millions of people develop eating disorders every year, and in spite of the recent growth in eating disorder awareness, things are only getting worse. 50% of girls between the age of 13 and 15 believe that they are overweight. 40% of 9-year-olds have attempted to diet, and 80% of 13-year-old girls have all admitted to some form of dieting. At an age when we should be the happiest and the most free, people are literally killing themselves just to lose weight. So where is all this coming from? From an extremely young age, children's minds are filled with unrealistic images of perfection. They see people they admire and become desperate to emulate their behaviour. We live in a culture obsessed with dieting and weight loss. It's no wonder we all have such unhealthy body image disorders. Calorie restriction is at the heart of anorexia. It becomes a problem of excessive calories. If, if you drink less, you will not feel hungry. And it did help me eat less. So basically, you're not supposed to exceed 500 calories a day. Actually cut its calories by 50%. Of not more than 500 calories. And you're gonna see you know, your weight and your fat really start dropping quickly. An apple for breakfast. One of the strategies of why you eat less throughout the day. And you, you have two meals. I like to order appetizers as my meal. If I'm craving something, I'll either work out, I'll start painting my nails or something. I survive on like an apple within those four days because I didn't feel hungry. I didn't finish the apple, by the way. You're not actually hungry. I always skip breakfast. And then like three days later, I just didn't feel hungry, so I skipped lunch. A week after that, um, in dinner time, I started eating like littler and littler. As slowly as you eat less and less, your stomachs shrink, and you don't need as much to fill it up. So moms and dad out there, you need to give this to your children. So go to sleep and don't think about food. The United Nations says that if 20% of an adult population cannot access at least 2,100 calories, they will declare a famine in that nation. A 9 to 13 year old girl needs about 1400 to 2200 calories a day. So these YouTubers are all promoting self-starvation. This mentality of trying to starve yourself in order to lose weight is incredibly destructive. The reason why this concept is so popular is because it gives quick, short-term results. We've all been conditioned to believe that weight loss can be achieved in 3 days or in a 12 week program. And it's just not right. I would say those aren't healthy diets, right? If you have to stop, you know, hey, I would like another piece of that, but I can't because I'm going to get fat. I would say you're not on a healthy diet then. The truth is, these stupid starvation fads are incredibly unhealthy and not sustainable long term. So yeah, you might lose 20 pounds in a month, but eventually you'll crash and binge and gain even more weight than before, and the destructive cycle continues. And what happens with these fad diets is why they make you feel worse as well is that you try and do them, okay? You try and do them for a couple of months or you might maintain it for a couple of months, but then you find it increasingly difficult. You're like, fuck, this is so hard because you're starving yourself and you eventually binge out big time like crazy. You can't get enough food and you're like stuffing it, stuffing it, stuffing it. And then you know what? You feel worse than ever. You feel so disgusted in yourself. I've been there before a million times. And that is not loving yourself. That's not truly being loving, is it? And then you blame yourself. You're like, I'm so undisciplined. I'm so hopeless. Why can't I stick to this diet? It's not your fault. You need to understand that. It is not your fault, okay? No one can stick to these starvation diets. And these calorie restricted diets rely heavily on appetite suppressants. I take 125 IU per day now. That's how much I inject. And I experience no hunger. Green tea, cayenne pepper, vinegar. You can have coffee and tea in any quantity. And so what I did was I started drinking this thing three times a day and I felt no hunger. Whatever these disgusting YouTubers say, the human body does need to eat. I, don't, I just, it really irks me when people promote these starvation, anorexic, 12 to 39 calorie day diets. Because isn't there enough eating disorders out there now? Like. Telling people they shouldn't eat more than 12 million calories a day, saying this is what I do, don't you do it too, but this is what I do. It's like, come on man, people are going to copy it, it's just wrong. 
and the only way to get through life is by taking a lot of harmful drugs to trick the body into not feeling hungry. So yeah, all these diets recommend a shit ton of stimulants like caffeine as well as loads of weight loss drugs and injections. The good news is that most people can't afford these expensive appetite suppressing drugs and injections. The bad news is that people are still going to starve themselves in an attempt to lose weight. And this mentality is abundant in the fad dieting world. But it's the way that some YouTubers promote this obsessive self-starvation that really angers me. This is where you're going to find your safe community. Well, the healthy way of doing it is, of course, eating um, the right food, uh, sleeping on time, don't crash diet, blah, 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 blah. And controlling what you eat and allowing yourself to eat whatever you want, just in moderation. It is definitely safe, otherwise I would not be doing it myself. You're not starving yourself. Now, this diet is safe. No, it's fucking not. It's unethical to some, but it worked for me, so... You know, it doesn't hurt to share, right? So you have to be very, very strict on this diet. Take a picture of everything you eat. Write down everything you eat. During my bikini competition, I wrote down every chicken breast, every egg white, every scoop of protein powder, and what I ate it seriously will keep you in line. You really, really need to do that. You will be surprised at how much food you consume don't even think about. Stop making people feel guilty for fucking eating. All these people are doing is teaching people to hate food. And subconsciously, viewers as young as 11 establish a lifelong negative relationship with food. You cannot truly love yourself if at the same time you're abusing your body with self-starvation. And it's even more disturbing because of how fake all these YouTubers are. Hey guys! Hello there! Hey everyone! Hey guys, it's Lola Vid, and today I'm going to share with you one of my beauty secrets on how I lost 20 pounds within a month. Hey guys, it's CG Chica. They appear so kind and genuine. You know, it, it, it irks me, it fucking irks me, because these people don't give a fuck about you if you get an eating disorder. They're just like, hey, buy my book, see you later, no worries. Hey, love and hugs. It's just fucked up. So, the small amount of food that they do recommend is absolute shit. Food is 100 grams of veal, beef, chicken breast, fresh white fish, lobster, crab, or shrimp. Half a cup of tuna, three ounces of any meat of your choice, ice cream, one hard boiled egg, and half a cup of cottage cheese, eggs, meat, and fish. Lots of meat, lots of eggs, lots of cholesterol, lots of saturated fat. I mean, you know, these quick fix kind of high protein diets, you may lose water weight initially, but that's just due to you losing a lot of water out of your muscles, your muscles atrophying, because muscles are about 80% water. So when you stop having carbohydrates, you dehydrate the body, the water is sucked out of the muscles, the muscles start to atrophy, and you just kind of shrink like a prune. It's not a lot of fat loss, it's a lot of water loss, which which is only temporary. High protein diets have been proven by people like Dr. T. Colin Campbell to promote diseases like cancer, osteoporosis, and kidney and liver issues. Animal protein is far too acidic for the human body. High protein foods are also extremely fiber deficient. I mean, she's, she's getting so much animal protein. Does she, come on, you'd be constipated on that. Eating crab and shrimp for lunch, eggs for breakfast, and chicken a little bit less it's like uh, this is not healthy carbs for me are the devil it's when you cut out those carbs and make this totally guilt free okay so t colin campbell has devoted a whole book to the whole low carb bullshit and dr michael gregor has also written a book exposing the whole atkins crap every cell in our body runs off simple sugars not enough simple sugars and glucose to the brain will cause you to be extremely emotionally unstable and very lethargic Okay, so high fat diets have been associated with all kinds of diseases like heart disease, diabetes and obesity. Animal products and refined oils are extremely high in fat and I do not recommend them if you want sustainable long term health. If you want to burn fat, Casey says eat more fats. Don't eat carbohydrates because carbohydrates are turned into fat and fat is turned into muscle according to Casey. Don't eat more fat if you want to get... What? Fat? What? What the fuck do they call it? Fat? Oh fuck! Casey doesn't have a clue! These kinds of diets also promote foods really high in cholesterol like eggs and meat. And they might get away with it now, but in the long term they will get heart attacks. Our bodies make all the cholesterol we need. Whatever you say, the optimum amount of dietary cholesterol is zero. 
So obviously these calorie restrictive diets are going to lead to severe vitamin and mineral deficiencies. But when you're just eating food that has little to no nutritional benefits whatsoever, like animal foods, then yeah, you're going to get very ill long term. And the really sad thing is when you look at how much all this bad advice is actually affecting people, especially young girls. And what do these YouTubers have to say to young girls planning on starving themselves? Yes. How fucking irresponsible. When I look at the comment section of these videos, I see thousands of confused, depressed, desperate people who have been brainwashed to believe that losing weight will somehow make them feel happier. And these people will do almost anything to reach that goal. But none of them will ever really get there, because no one can sustain these starvation diets. And the ones that don't give up, well, they'll end up in hospital. These videos are at the core of obesity, mental health, and many other diseases. It might sound overdramatic, but it is true. What do I recommend, then? The way I see it, if you're struggling with weight issues, why not choose a lifestyle where you can eat unlimited quantities of food and feel happy, healthy, and energized every single day? Okay, fruits and veggies, they are the, the key to long-term weight loss, health, fitness, and self-love. But it's not all about weight loss. A number on the scales is not going to make you happy. Happiness comes from within. We need to focus on overall health, both physical and mental. And that's the reason why I recommend veganism. I know so many people who have cured their eating disorders with veganism, and it's really amazing to see. Let's start creating a positive relationship with food. Let's stop the restriction and start the abundance. And at the same time, we save the animals, the planet, and society itself. Who wouldn't want to do that? And I understand that there are some people who will never feel happy unless they're self-harming themselves with starvation and deprivation. But it's not healthy, and these people need real help. When you have millions of desperate, vulnerable followers, when you have people as young as 12 who see you as a role model, I don't care what you say, you have a fucking responsibility not to poison people's minds with obsessive, unrealistic eating habits. There's absolutely no excuse for this kind of behaviour. These examples are not isolated cases. Thousands of extremely harmful videos are uploaded every day. And what kind of world are we going to create? How will our young people ever grow up to love themselves? We can overcome eating disorders, but these videos need to stop. I've seen far too many people's lives destroyed by eating disorders, and it's not right.